will look into the context variables called new and old okay and there are other variables as well new map and old map that will also be looked by us so the first what new do is new is actually a list it stores the list of the records so what it returns us is a list of the new version of the s object records available only for insert update and undelete so what do you mean by the new version suppose you are inserting suppose you are typing something in the fields so you click save so that new data that you just entered now that is returned by uh, written by this so if we do one operation it will return us one record if we say more than one more than 200 records so it will return those 100 records that is how it will work okay and similarly old old returns as a list of old version of the s object record available only for update and delete now suppose you there's a record say let's say it already have a phone field now you update that phone field okay that old will will not return us the record with that new new phone number it will return us the records with old phone number so okay so that is and these are the dml statement on which they are available i will help you understand these things as well why they are available for specific operations only similarly new map new map is like a new and old is in new was returning us the list of records new map what it does it returns us a map where the key is the ids of the record and the values is the record field itself or you could say record itself so that is new map new was just a list of records new map is a map where there is a key field keys the key like the key is represented by the ids of the record and value is represented by the record itself similarly old map it will have the old data but instead of list it will is a it, it will it is a map where the key is the id and value is the record we'll understand this one by one now just the overview we'll look into them into or as well that will make more sense to you okay so for first just keep the understanding that new is a list of records okay and old is also a list of records new map is a map of records old map is a map of record so now this will help you understand the new and old difference now when you are inserting something do you have the access to the old data or the new data you are inserting something that thing does not exist in our org so that means we have the access to the new record so that makes so new is to be used with insert okay now now when you update something do you have the access to the old data or the new data now you are when you are updating something that record already exists in the system so you have the access to the old data now you update something so that will change so you also have the access to the new data as well so you have in update you have both the access to the old and new data now you are deleting something so when you are deleting something they, you are not creating something new you are just deleting the old record so you have the access neither you are updating it you are just deleting it so you have the access to only old record so that is why old is used with delete so old will fetch all the record that you are deleting they, they will just print the old old data of it okay now if you are undeleting something that something is not existing in the system you deleted it so now you are restoring it so you are putting something new in the database again so new is used with undelete so that will may help you understanding where to use new where to use old so i would suggest you take a screenshot of this and keep with you okay now let's move ahead and we'll understand about the maps as well i guess this is the last thing we have then we'll jump to our org and we'll make sense of this thing new and old okay now when to use new map and where to use old map since in both old map and new map id of records are used as key so operation which generates ids is where we use them but does it mean suppose you are doing before insert operation in that scenario the data on which you are using dml statement is still not saved in the system since if it is not saved in the system there is no id generated for it so you can't use new map with before insert okay that is one point as you could read here we have access to new data used but since in before no id is generated so we can't use new map if we have access to new data we use new map and if we have access to old data we use old map that is that makes sense but since in before insert that id of that record is not saved so you can't fetch its data okay now if we go to the after insert once our, something is executing after the insert so that means that record gets saved into the system if the record gets saved into the system the id got generated for it so we could use new map since new is used with the insert so we'll use new only new will be used with this after insert okay hope that makes sense now we mo move to our uh, next part the before and after update since in before and after we have the access to both the old data and new data so both 
new and old map will work here and since data is we are just updating it so the code is already present in the system so there's an id with it so we could use new map and old map with it okay now after and before delete we have access to old data only okay so we and also id is available so we both both in both the cases we can use old map with delete we only use we have the access to old data only so that's why it could use only old map but that record is already in the system so old map is accessible here now after undelete so now you are you are now undelete means you have access to the new data so we could use new map so since we are undeleting it the system is getting restored so it already have the id that is again getting restored so we could use new map here that is applicable so and as we just saw before is not supported with undelete so hope that helps you understand the where to use new map and where to use old map and also where to use new and where to use old and this thing as well now we'll go to our org and see what what, what actually they store and how to use them okay so let's move to our org so we are here in our org so let's see about the trigger dot new first with insert okay we'll type before insert and after insert okay let's say we may make it trigger dot as before let's execute before first okay and then we say trigger dot is after okay now we'll print that trigger dot new and trigger dot after here okay simply going to print trigger dot new trigger dot new okay and now we're going to save it trigger dot old trigger dot old now you will also understand why with the operation what is the data that is stored now since is before the data is not saved into the system so it this records will not have the id okay and since the data we have to write trigger dot new here okay since after insert the record is saved into the system we have the id and other system fields so that they would be visible here okay now we'll save it okay now both the operations are getting executed now let's create new record something let's say create a new record new record and we'll say next let's say we say account demo 2 okay and let's say we fill few fields as well like number and maybe the account number let's say oh, i don't think there might be some validation so let's leave it let's get type so and just save it okay now we save this now we'll go to our developer console okay basically logs so and then we go here and you will see the here debug only now this is before this is before this is after now in this case you could see id field is null because the record is not saved in the system okay and other fields maybe so but you have id here as an after because the record is saved into the system okay so you could see here in the records the fields like what they are storing this is store this is storing whatever we have whenever we create new record okay suppose we create new record so is before is storing whatever data we provide here okay and once we save it because id will generate once it is saved so it is providing that here is it is storing the system parameters that generate after the record is saved id is here id is not here null and you as you could see with other things as well so this is our trigger dot new in case of insert because with insert we only have the access to the trigger dot new if i do trigger dot all try to get access all data here suppose if it works or not to check it okay just save it okay and then we create a new record new next and demo 23 whatever it is let's say demo 33 and save it now we go to our logs we go to the developer comes we go to our logs and go here and you will see trigger dot is old is null because we don't have the access to the old data in insert even if i do it after even in even in that scenario it is going to print null so that you could try on your the code is on your screen that's not a very long code so you could type and check here as well okay so the trigger dot old will have null in both of the cases okay now we'll say let's say up, let's try for update as well now before update and after update before update okay for update first we'll check about the 
or trigger.old in both of them and the trigger.new then we'll try check trigger.old okay in both of them is trigger.new okay if i print trigger.new in both of the scenario we'll have the access to the updated data okay so let's say we update this demo 32 itself let's say we add a phone number here okay and let's say some other bunches like type we provide industry we provide like and we save it so we updated it okay now we go to hope it i, I saved it so we'll go here and we'll check the logs since we since when update we also have the access to the new and old both so here you will see id is same now where is that yeah the channel partner name is same demo 32 where is the phone number i think doesn't come here okay it is not showing but yeah type it is showing that is what we selected here type if you go here type is channel partner and reseller so that is what it is showing since we updated it since we use trigger.new in both of the cases so it is showing us the new data only so suppose if i do this instead of this if i say trigger.old here and let it trigger.new here so that you could compare both of them so we save it and now let's update it again instead of reseller this time we select make it prospect okay earlier value was reseller new is prospect so we save it okay now we go to developer logs tour okay so as you could see this is the old data reseller and partner the new data is prospect that we just added so hope that helps you understand the trigger dot old and trigger dot new okay that hope that makes sense okay so we have that now let's do it for the delete as well okay let me remove few of the log files now let's say we do it for before delete and after delete okay it since we said that it have only access to the old data first we'll check trigger dot old here and then try new as well new would be i believe null but let's check oh it should be old let's say we try old in both of the scenario okay we save it now we saved it now we go to this demo 32 and let's say we delete it so we deleted this demo 32 we go here back to the logs and check it again debug only and you will see it is showing that old data of it that is building city and that prospect prospect okay so it is just showing the old data because we didn't update it after the prospect so that is the old data now if i try trigger dot new here even after or before whenever you will see it will not give us anything so i try to save it okay it's saved now let's say we try to delete this report okay account 32 only the four there's a type prospect and the phone is this okay demo 32 we try to delete it we delete this now we deleted it now go to the developer console and check it new is null because there was nothing new here now we are just deleting the old record so we have the access to old data so to trigger dot all we got the list of that record now here we are just seeing the record of one 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 data of one record but if we do mass delete or mass update mass insert through other tools like data loader workbench and other thing then it will give us all those record the list of all those record okay so that is also clear now let's talk about since before delete is not supported so we delete it okay so after undelete we are checking okay after undelete now let's say we since before is not updated so there is no issue on it okay we delete it and let's say we print two of them together system dot debug debug and we'll say trigger dot old okay just to check everything here we save it now it's saved now let's say we restore something go and re let's restore some records so for that we go to the recycle bin let's say we de we restore this record okay demo account demo 2 so we restore it so we restored that account demo 32 yeah we restored it now we go here and check the logs so this is null why 
we don't have the access to the old data here it's new data so as you if you go over a code you could see trigger dot new was here trigger dot old was here so old is null why because we have the access to the new data now now about the old map and new map they, they are similar to what uh, similar to our tri like trigger dot new instead of list we have just map okay so logic where they are applicable remains same so let's check for just insert on before insert okay Insert and after insert okay since it will not work before insert but after insert it should work so we'll check it okay we'll just print trigger dot new map okay and we'll here print trigger dot let's say is before and then we do for is after as well trigger dot is before we'll get either an error or it will be null in the logs okay show you the save it okay we saved it now let's say we create a new record insert video notes let's say map test okay we save it so we created a new record so we go to the unlocks debug only now as you could see this is before so before will execute before this whatever the logic that need to be executed before the record is saved so we'll execute first so before is null because before doesn't make sense now there is no id before the record is saved now this is after record as you could see account id is a key and then the record is a value so i hope that will help you understand all the basics of the triggers and in the next video we'll be covering scenario based questions on triggers that would be helpful for your learning plus for your interviews as well okay so that's all from me on this video so see you in the next video thanks for watching